Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Crypto Foxy. Hope you're having an awesome day. Uh, if you're a Solana holder, um, you know, you're probably really liking the uh, the positive uh, outlook for Solana these days. Uh, it looks like things are starting to, uh, you know, to maybe turn around a bit for Solana and money is starting to flow back in. Um, before we get into our video, though, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and let's get into our video. All right, so we can see here, um, so Solana sees massive inflows and big support from institutions, according to Weiss Crypto. All right, so what uh, do they have to say here? So Weiss Ratings is an agency, and they have announced on its X page that last week Solana surpassed other major alt altcoins in terms of fund inflows from institutional investors. So you can see their tweet here, so, or, sorry, X post. It says, uh, Solana saw its largest week of inflows, $24 million since March 2022 continuing to assert itself as the altcoin of choice among institutions. Um, so that was posted to, uh, earlier today. Um, so inflows into Ethereum, for, for instance, stand at about $10.2 million, and uh, Solana is seeing about $24 million. Uh, so Bitcoin investments totaled about $42.7. Um, Cardano uh, received the smallest portion, around $0.2 million. Um, so Solana continues to assert itself as the altcoin of choice, particularly in light of the recent Ethereum product launches, CoinX shares post stated. Over $78.4 in fiat was invested in crypto by financial institutions last week. So that is a huge chunk going to the likes of uh, Solana. Uh, it looks like, um, you know, it looks like maybe, you know, investor confidence is coming back. Um to Solana with all the improvements that they are making for their network. Um, they're trying to, you know, stabilize their uh, their blockchain, uh, avoid downtime, et cetera, make things faster, more efficient. And um, yeah, it looks like what they're doing is working. The overall sentiment is changing to a bit more positive. And uh, over here, we'll take a look at the chart. <clears throat> we can see here that the chart has been on a, uh, you know, a slight incline since uh, this would have been June. So we are in, in a bit of an uptrend. Um, however, you know, broader market uh, conditions may uh, may pull it down some um, just with the uh, the wars going on, as well as, um, you know, the Federal Reserve, FOMC minutes, uh, CPI data, all that stuff's coming in, job report, all that stuff's coming in this week. Um, so we will still likely see some volatility. However, the chart is looking very good for Solana at this moment. Um, it's currently sitting at around, uh, was it $22? And uh, yeah, so things have been looking great. Um, so the Solana network has been making tons of improvements, and um, I do believe I may uh, get another position here in Solana. I did, uh, I did sell mine off uh, earlier uh, this year as I just... Um, just wasn't seeing things going, you know, the way I wanted it to go. And we all have our own, uh, our own risk assessments, et cetera. But uh, Solana is one that I've always been, uh, been looking at, been, um, you know, hoping that, uh, <clears throat> that they were going to make some improvements to their network, et cetera. Cause I do believe it is, a, you know, it is a good competitor to Ethereum and uh, yeah, well, remains to be seen, right? We'll see what happens. All right. Well, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate you guys tuning in, showing your support, etc. Uh, please remember to hit like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.